I know that you can do above and beyond what I could even ask or think. That your anointing be on these words, and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, I bless you. Let's give the Lord, Lord a hand clap of praise. And thank God you may be seated. Thank God. All through the Old Testament, you know, they, was, they wanted to know his name. They understood that, that when that name was come, that there would be power with that name. Moses, uh, you know, asked, um, who will I say sent me? And all that he could get was just that, just tell them that I am sent you. And, of course, Isaiah, you know, uh, thought he was going to pin the name, but all he did was pin some of the wonderful titles of what Jesus Christ is. But it was not until an angel uh, spoke um, in um, Luke chapter 1 and verse number 30 that we really know what his name was. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. And that was the first time that that name was applied to God and so that we would know that what God that was manifest in flesh would be called, and that was Jesus. Thank God. And the angel also appeared unto Joseph. Because Joseph, you know, was pondering this thing. He was engaged to Mary and find out that she's expecting with a child. And, of course, she tells him the story. But it is kind of a hard story to believe that, um, you know, uh, that she is with child without having been with a man. And so the angel appeared unto him and said, Fear not um, to, let's say, Luke chapter Maybe I'm in the wrong place. Matthew chapter 1 and verse number 20. But while, they, while he thought about these things, while Joseph thought about these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not thou to take unto thee Mary for thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus the second time. Angels revealed the name on two occasions for, uh, for him to save his people from their sins. And so on this night, God, I just want us to try to rediscover the power of the name. Does anybody realize what happens when you say Jesus? All of us have been in situations and moments where that, uh, we were in distress and uh, something was coming towards us either in a car wreck or in a moment of fear and things, and we would just breathe the, the name of Jesus and just find comfort and find help and find protection in that name. And so uh, at, at his name, every knee shall bow, the Bible says. There is salvation in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. Thank God. The Bible says do everything you do all in the name of the Lord. Thank God. I heard a story of a young Hindu girl that was very sick and had been sick for several years and could not get well. And, of course, the Hindus believe in, in many gods. Matter of fact, they have tried to number their gods, and they have the number up to 3.3 million gods. Thank God. I mean, it take a long time just to name all their gods, I guess. But anyway, they, they believe and they worship all these different gods and things. And, of course, this young lady... Uh, appeal to all those gods for help but never found any someone had left the track uh, and things and tried to uh, tell her about uh, Jesus and she said I, I don't need another god I got three point I got three million three point three million gods I don't need another one but uh, they were saying that you know he was the only god but uh, she forgot about all of that until uh, one day in her room uh, she was so desperate. She had been living on pain pills. She was uh, things. They had a whole bottle of pain pills, and she was contemplating that, well, you know, if a few of these pills help a little bit, maybe a whole lot of them would help a whole lot. But uh, in that moment of distress, she decided that she would just um, try this other God out that someone had told her about, this Jesus God. Thank God. The, and so she just said Jesus, and um, nothing happened the first time. But she said it two or three more times, and suddenly a bright light came into her room, and uh, it illuminated her uh, room, and she uh, instantly was healed, praise God. When her mother and them uh, came and 
realized uh, that something had happened to her. Uh, they were very upset at her when they found out that she had been talking to this Jesus God. And they uh, told her, said, you, you cannot worship that God. You have to worship our gods and things. And, and the, the young lady, her only experience with Jesus was just those few words that um, she had said uh, and got healed. And so something inside her just said, hey, this God must be more than any other God that I serve. And so she began to just, uh, they began to try to get her to recant and to deny the name of Jesus, and she wouldn't do it. They had the, the Hindu priest come in and, and tried to get her to stop uh, worshiping Jesus. And finally, the Hindu priest told her parents, said, look, she, she's too far gone. We cannot help her. She, we can't change her. She's going to be a, a Jesus worshiper, it looks like. And uh, so her mother went up, packed her clothes, and uh, brought her suitcase down and said, well, you can't live here anymore. And so at the age of 18 or 19 years of age, she was pushed out of her home and things. And, of course, um, she found some Christians, and, and they took her in and things. And, of course, today, you know, we all know her as Vandy Marshall. Praise God. But that's the way she came to Jesus Christ, just by the name. Thank God. And I think sometimes we uh, make God too hard to touch. To just think that a little Hindu girl could just start saying Jesus and suddenly get a miraculous healing and, of course, ultimately become a great minister of, in her own rights and things. But the truth was is, um, you know, really, uh, tonight if we have a need, thank God, if we could just really understand that if we could just begin to think about that there is the power in his name to meet every need in this building because the authority is in the name. And that name that is above every name, thank God, when you say Jesus and you say it in, in reverence and you say it in respect and you say it in faith, thank God, if we ever wake up to the power of the name of Jesus, thank God, we could shake our city just by understanding the power of his name. Thank God. I think sometimes we're a little too bashful about uh, telling people what Jesus can really do. But I'm telling you, the name of Jesus gives us access to the supernatural. And we need to understand that if we will take and reach with uh, faith, we can see the supernatural just through his name. He's got, while we're standing tonight, we need to do um, kind of a, a rediscovery of the power of the name of Jesus. Some of us, sometimes we um, forget that sometimes our greatest touches come in just simplicity. That's why sometimes when children pray for uh, us adults, uh, they get results because they just, in simplicity, they just believe that uh, all you have to do is say Jesus and everything is going to be all right. And I believe that tonight, thank God, if you're sick, thank God, I believe tonight if you need deliverance, I believe tonight if, thank God, you're depressed, thank God, or whatever your trouble may be, thank God, if you will just come and just begin to call on his name, thank God, because there's victory in the name of Jesus, because there is power in the name of Jesus. All power in heaven and earth can be tapped into by just saying the name of Jesus. Thank God. And so what do you have to lose? Thank God, if you're carrying a heavy load, thank God, if you're dealing with things that are bigger than you are, thank God, why not just bring it to the one that said that, thank God, whosoever will can just come, thank God, and drink of the waters of life freely. And so, thank God, it's no telling what God could do. And so let's just come and let's just see what Jesus would do for us tonight. While we sing a chorus, I wonder if there's anyone in the building that really, maybe you walked in here, maybe you were like...